You are watching my cosmology series of talks. This segment is numbered 55. My subject today is on planet Earth at last. The interior structure of the Earth is layered in spherical shells. These layers can be defined by their chemical and their rheological properties. Earth has an outer silicate solid crust, a highly viscous mantle, a liquid outer core that is much less viscous than the mantle and a solid inner core. Scientific understanding of the internal structure of the Earth is based on observations of topography and bathymetry, observation of rock in outcrop samples brought to the surface from greater depths by volcanoes and volcanic activity, analysis of the seismic waves that pass through the Earth, measurements of the gravitational and magnetic fields of the Earth, and experiments with crystalline solids at pressures and temperatures characteristic of the Earth's deep interior. The crust ranges from 5 to 70 kilometers in depth and in the outermost layer, the thin parts are the oceanic crust which underlie the ocean basins 5 to 10 kilometers and are composed of dense mafic iron magnesium silicate igneous rocks like basalt. The thicker crust is continental crust which is less dense and composed of felsic sodium potassium aluminium silicate rocks like granite. Earth's mantle extends to the depth of 2890 kilometers making it the thickest layer of Earth. The mantle is divided into upper and lower mantle the upper and lower mantle are separated by the transition zone. The mantle is composed of silicate rocks that are rich in iron and magnesium relative to the overlying crust. Although solid, the high temperatures within the mantle cause the silicate material to be sufficiently ductile that it can flow on very long time scales. Convection of the mantle is expressed at the surface through the motions of tectonic plates as there is intense and increasing pressure as one travels deeper into the mantle the lower part of the mantle flows less easily than does the upper mantle the average density of the earth is 5515 kilograms bar m3 because the average density of surface material is only around 3000 kilogram per m3 we must conclude that denser materials exist within earth's core seismic measurements show that the core is divided into two parts a solid inner core with the radius of 1220 kilometers and a liquid outer core extending beyond it to a radius of 3400 kilometers i have got a nice video animation on planet earth explaining the components of the planet right now i'm going to roll it our Earth is made up of a solid inner core and a liquid outer core. Its mantle and crust consist mainly of solid rocky material. The atmosphere of the Earth is made up of 77% nitrogen and 21% oxygen.